Hey, 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 hummingbird. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it because he woke us up another day this day to be a Muslim. I'm back, y'all, but I'm back with the uh, challenge from Steph DIY Queen. But let me pray before I do anything. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning, starting me on a brand new day. Thank you for life every strength. Thank you for keeping us all through the night, God. And we ask you to continue to reach down your nail scar and hands, God, to look upon the bereaved family, God, all over the land, God. Touch the family, the um that I went to the day the funeral, God. Lord, just touch them, God. Strengthen them, God. Strengthen my two nephews, God. Strengthen them for where they may be weak at, God. Lord, God, touch, heal, deliver, save, set free, God. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Y'all, I'm going to get right into it. Stealth DIY Queen has a challenge out. It is put grave on everything. What I got is some spring beans, some stir-fried script steak with some rice with gravy on it. Some gravy already on it. But I'm going to pour a little bit more grave on it because I need to add some to my beans. I'm going to add some to my beans, y'all. Oh! Y'all, it got dark. The light just went out. Hopefully, you guys can see me. I'm yet still pouring gravy. Hopefully, you guys still can see me. Hold on one minute. Sorry about that, y'all. They click back on. So, again, it's challenged by Still DIY. I added gravy to my beans in the dark. I hope y'all were able to see that. And I also added a little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of hot sauce with a little bit more of my beans. And so, now, it's not time. I do got some to I got some orange juice. I don't like orange juice, y'all, but... And um, I'm old school, so I might want me up a slice of bread. But it, it said eat and um, cover everything with gravy. And tell of a good base vacation story that you had. Or tell of a vacation story that you have had. So, how y'all doing? What you doing? Is you eating with me? If you ain't, go get you something to eat. This was a good one for this gravy. I don't know um what to talk about. Mm. As far as a story, right? Cause um. When we were coming up every summer, we went on, on trips until um, my brother and we always went to um, Perry, Georgia, or Macon, Georgia, Lowndes, or White Area, Georgia, South Carolina. Um, we went to Disneyland all the time until my brother's start goofing off in school and had to start going to summer school and so they were going to summer school for three weeks two were going for three weeks one was going for six weeks so that cut out vacation time especially with the six weeks so my daddy told them that last year made that your last year going to summer school Cause if you don't get your lesson, that's how you said, the light's blinking again, y'all. In that time, y'all ain't gonna hold nobody else up for going to their trips during the summer. So if you had to go to summer school, you weren't going. I guess they thought my dad was telling a lie. Hold on. Yeah, so I guess they thought my dad was telling a, uh, a story. I said lie, but I'm going to say story because we wasn't allowed to say lie because it was a custom word. So when school was getting out, the, la the last report card, all the girls was excited. I had them brought home that report card. The boys always would linger. 
They always would linger coming home. And when they did come home, they still didn't come with the report card. My dad didn't ask. My dad didn't ask, so when the following week came, that Monday, well, that Sunday night, my mom was packing everybody up. So we can leave on Monday. The boy, we can't go. We got summer school. My dad say, well, your friends will be picking at you because we leaving in the morning. Mm -mm. My dad said, what you didn't learn all school season, you're not going to learn in three weeks. They was mad. They was heated. They was crying. I was poor. And I was picky. Yeah. My daddy say, and while we on vacation, I'm going to have y'all in the Walla Middle Fields. Shaking pecan trees. They teach y'all a lesson. And it was hard now. We told him. In the same clothes you wore this year, not doing nothing in you, we went in the school store. You'll get new clothes when I see your first report card. They cried, they moaned, they groaned. And we got them. We were doing all kind of fun things. But, oh, let me not forget, it was only two boys. The other boy must be learning his lesson. So, everybody was going everywhere. Going shopping. Getting in the water. And they was working. That whole first week. So, my mom, which was the disciplinary, she started feeling sorry for him. She told them that um, um, they can go the next time we went. So, we had a big picnic. And that Georgia Clay saying, well, if you wear white tennis shoes, brown tennis shoes, black tennis shoes, your shoe was going to be what color? I want to do y'all know. Your shoe was going to be messed up all the way. So we stayed in Georgia two weeks. We came home. So they thought they was coming home to go to summer school the last three weeks. We came home for a week. We piped back up. We went to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland. They didn't get to go. They didn't get to go because this trip, this trip, the um, the church took us over overnight this and then and trip. My older sister didn't go. It was just like me and the youngest ones went to the Disneyland. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had fun. My daddy gave us the money. We came back with Mickey ears. On the, um, one thing I didn't like, And it was happening back then. They want to
say certain weights had to get on things, certain heights. So it was one particular wide that I really wanted to get on. I couldn't get on because of my size. Y'all see the light facing. I didn't want to do nothing else. When I say nothing else, I didn't want to do nothing else. I just want to go back to the hotel and go home. Mm -mm. That wasn't good enough for my dad. We, we finished out the vacation. We came home. My daddy started making us a swing set in the yard. Not buying one. Building. I, we had some good vacations. I can remember we were going to Georgia one time in a station wagon, all of us. And there was really no room for to put the clothes in the inside of the car, so they tied them on the top. Not paying attention, you know, people riding by blowing at you and all type of stuff. Important, but my parents thought that was blowing important. Maybe because they were driving too slow. Or they needed to move. So, we ignored it. Y'all see, when we got where we were going, when we got where we was going, we had no clothes. All the clothes scattered abroad on the highways. Everywhere. No clothes. My mom was like, oh, my goodness. In a way, we were kind of glad because we just knew we were going to get our new clothes. We did. We had cousins and stuff where we went. Some big, some small, some short, some tall. We got some of their stuff. And my auntie. Forgive me. I love you, Auntie. She just knew she was a seamstress. Mm -mm. She bust out. Lily May, that's my mom's name. Don't worry about it. They can wear them chilling clothes for two days. I got some clothes. I got some material. I'm finna make them some. Hopefully, I can find a picture and put it in and include it. All of us, boys and girls, had the same material, same um pattern, looking like what they call five twins, six topolits or whatever they is, in a mess. We cried a while. My dad told us to shut our mouth and wear the clothes. We didn't want to go do nothing. We didn't want to go see nothing. Anything. We was uh, looking like a hot set of five twins. I don't know what they call five twins. But that's what we were looking like. Oh, that'd be so nasty. I, it's, it's a lot of stories, but summertime fun. Some, some some brings about a lot of fun, but these days, kids, something basic for us that was a good challenge, self for y'all. That was a good meal too, but these these kids these days. They don't appreciate just going to families. They, they want you to get an Airbnb 
and they want to get the Airbnb for five, six days. They want to have a new outfit for every day. They also want to invite a friend that you got to pay for for everything. They also want to go to all kind of different places, doing this, doing that, shopping. That, that wasn't what vacation was for us. When we got ready to go on vacation, we didn't stop. We stopped to get gas and to let my dad take the tires, but we didn't stop to eat. And to use the bathroom. No, we stopped for to use the bathroom, check the tire, and get gas. Because before we left that house, we had plenty of water. We had plenty of drinks, Kool-Aid, poured in bottles that we don't drink water out of. We had plenty of bologna, bologna sandwiches or fried chicken wrapped up in aluminum foil. We had two or three loaves of bread. A couple of bags of um, big bags of chips that we ate out together. And a big bag of peppermint that stayed in the front where my parents were to keep them awoke with driving. We didn't stop on the road and get no one six dollars or seven dollar ham sandwich cut in half that we can make at home. We didn't do it. And that was the good thing with us. Like my dad in one summer, he only took me and my two younger brothers. And he had a pickup with the camper on the back. We took the um, full-size mattress off the um, bed in the house, off one of our beds, put it in the bike of the camper, put it in the bike of one of the campers, and mix the lights out again. I'm going to finish in the dark, y'all. And me and my dad was in the front part of the truck, and my brother was in the back where the cooler and the food and everything was there in the suitcases. On the match, by the time we stopped, me and my daddy wanted a piece of chicken. There was no more chicken. We did get a drink and a pack of nab cookies. But my daddy had a trick for them. When we got what we wanted, we went and ate what we wanted. But they was full. My daddy said, y'all won't eat because y'all don't eat all that chicken. Y'all y'all pray for us down here. We've been having some terrible, terrible, terrible. I know this is about vacation, but we've been having this during vacation time. We've been having some terrible weather. I know y'all can see the lights been flashing on and off. It's thunder. It's lightning. It's raining. And we have, I know it was two, but my husband just said it's three now out there here in our way. So y'all pray for Florida. Not only Florida, pray for everybody. This is hurricane season, the first month of hurricane season. Lord, let us pray for them and get your stuff together. <laughs> if you haven't already, get your stuff together. Pack your grip bag. Don't try to pack no two or three big suitcases. Just get you a grip. Some underwear, a bra, a couple of pairs of shorts, two t-shirts, something to sleep in. Put all your stuff and your important stuff in. It, it, your birth certificates, your, your social security cards, your your IDs, your children's stuff as well. And if you're taking animals, your animal shop records and they stuff too. So you could just grab and go if need be. So you guys, I'm going to end this video. Again, this video, this this um challenge was created by Steph DIY Queen. It is po put gravy on everything until of a summertime, a vacation, a vacation time story. So like I always say, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. And remember, we're too blessed to be scratched over here. We're not going to be on YouTube in the mess. And before I go, before I say what I say, y'all, if you can, if you will, please help me by getting monetized, by helping me run my 2022 watch time playlist. It will be greatly appreciated. I will have it in the description box below. Click on the link and let it flow. So, like I always say, I love you, but God loves you best. Bye-bye. Boop, boop.